It's a, it's a lightsaber. It's just, where's the, I think the on button is. What's up everybody, Peter McGinnon here and welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. Today we are talking about a very unique tip, a little trick in Premiere Pro to help you go the extra mile. Now what do I mean by go the extra mile? I just mean like sometimes in your work you can just do a look, something that's just so small it might not make a huge difference in your overall project but as a whole, when you add those little things together and do them more and more and more, your work becomes more polished, you become a better artist, and your stuff just ends up being more thoughtful. And that's what we wanna do here. We wanna make thoughtful films, thoughtful videos, take thoughtful photos, stuff that we go the extra mile for. It's like, are you gonna wake up for sunrise so that you can shoot sunrise? Or are you gonna sleep through it every single day? Are you gonna stay out later past sunset so you can get some of those nighttime photos? Are you gonna go the extra mile to make sure you get those banger shots? And that's usually how great art comes to be. That's usually how you capture the best photos. You get up early, you go the extra mile, you make better videos because you put more time into the small things that some people might forget, but you, you don't forget. And today, I certainly haven't forgotten. And we're talking about something called corner pin. Some of you may be like, oh, you mean that little thing that lets you warp around the sides of videos? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. And here's an example of going the extra mile. Let's say I screen share something and I want to throw it up on the screen as an example or a tutorial, or I just want some kind of video happening in the background, corner pin is going to let you manipulate those corners so you can fit video or photos onto any surface, be it a monitor sitting in the background, a picture of a camera that you took, a TV at an airport that's displaying maybe your vlogs instead of the news while you're standing there talking about something. Those little things, like in the last video when I sneezed and coughed and the screen shook, Ugh. It's those little things, those little details that people appreciate, and you're gonna start doing them. So check this out, we're gonna head over to my desk. I'm gonna make this a little more clear for you, but before we do that, let's throw two minutes on the clock. Let's go. Here's an example of how I use corner pin. When I do a screen share, when I have any type of video that I wanna show you that's vertical or a photo that I wanna show you, instead sometimes of just putting it right up on the screen, I like to kind of superimpose it onto my iPhone or superimpose it onto the back of a DSLR or, or anything that has a monitor that you wanna superimpose your video onto. Corner pin just allows you to manually adjust those corners to wherever you want so that you can make it fit and the perspective of that video looks like it might actually be coming from your phone. So when I did some screen sharing the other day and I was showing you how I was editing photos on my iPhone, a lot of people were like, wait, how are you moving around the sliders without actually touching them? What is this magic? It was just corner pin. So what you're gonna do first, you're just gonna take a photo of whatever you want to superimpose this video onto. Here's an example of that. So once you have the photo that you're gonna superimpose your video onto and you have the video itself that you want to have on the photo, drag both of those things into your project files and then we're gonna drag them both onto our timeline. Make sure that photo is scaled the size on your timeline so that it fits the frame and then grab the video and scale that down to the appropriate size so it matches the size of the iPhone or it matches the size of the monitor or it matches the size of the DSLR, whatever you're trying to superimpose it onto. How many times have I said superimpose now? It's out of hand. Now it's as easy as going to the effects panel, typing in corner pin, drag that effect to the video file, go back over to your effects panel and just manipulate those corners. Drag those corners to the edges of the screen or the DSLR screen or like we said, whatever you're superimposing that video to and that's it. That's going the extra mile. So instead of just having a talking head sequence like this and I'm like, oh, check out this photo from my camera or check out this screen share from my mobile phone and it just pops up right here. Now we've got a nice visual that pops up on the screen and the video is superimposed onto it. And it's just, it just looks better. It looks like you care. It looks like you put in the work. And those are the types of things that I just love to do. So that's it. It's super easy. It's just one of those nice effects to have in your tool bag. And you know, you can never have enough of them. So that's it for me guys, hope you liked this video. Again, I want you guys to think about the little details whenever you are out there making art. Okay, so that's it. Hit that like button if you like this video, smash it. 2018 style, and there's only 126 days left of 2018. Actually, there's 126 days left till Christmas, but who's counting? Not me. <laughs> Subscribe if you aren't already, and, and I will see you guys on Thursday. I hope, I think so. It's a, it's a good chance that you'll, goodbye.